So here I am, I got a day off today. It's a beautiful day, sunny California. And I thought, you know what? I'm gonna go see what my neighbor Ninja's doing. Maybe we could learn some Ninja shit today. He's always up to something, hanging out in his dojo, doing all kinds of Ninja shit. I like to call him Ninja though. So follow me. Ninjutsu is a is a secret, but I right. but because I like you, I'm willing to budge. So you can throw some stars or some knives for us today. Show me how to throw a knife. Fucking knives, scissors, needle nose pliers. What? Uh, flathead screwdriver. What? You throw all that shit? I happen to have this right here. Fucking. That's why we call him Ninja. <laughs> Bitch was hiding it in his pocket. I stole this from Freddy Krueger from one of my nightmares. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Before we begin, Ninja, is there any secrets to yeah. throwing? Uh, oh, absolutely. There's a, definitely a technique involved. Some technique? Can you give us a little breakdown on technique? For instance, um, I tried to uh, throw from the same distance just because I've developed muscle memory anywhere from six feet to nine feet. So because of that, I throw from the same distance every fucking time, or at least try to. And there is a technique involved when you throw it, but... Uh, takes a little, little long to explain that, so I'd rather just show you. Okay, so it's a special ninja technique is what I'm getting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we can't teach you guys everything. Imagine, this is the evildoer's head. And as you can see, all the other knife points the ninja has hit with his throwing stars and knives. Ninja, give us a demonstration. Any final words before you take this guy's head right off? You gotta stay ready. If you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready, homie. It's that fucking simple. Warning. Don't attempt to do this shit at home. Unless you're a little dumbass. And you want to play with knives and stupid shit like that. But I'm giving you my heads of warning right now. That I don't condone any of this behavior. Nor am I a ninja. Or ever thought about being a ninja. And for that matter, I don't think you're a ninja either. So don't do this stupid shit. And don't hold me responsible. You dumb little bastards. So there. Oh, what the fuck, Ninja? Yeah, I swear to God. Oh! Hey, hey, I swear to God, dude, I'm sorry. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Just kidding. <laughs> Thank you, Del Taco. Hot yeah. sauce. Yeah. <laughs> oh! Ninja! Holy shit! Oh my god, you took that fool's. Holy shit, Ninja! Holy shit, what do you think about that? The rule of mastery is 10,000 hours. You gotta apply at least 10,000 hours minimum anything you do. Driving stick shift, painter, a boxer working on your fucking form, your posture. Damn it. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I've been your neighbor for like, what, four years now? And I have a little fear in me right now at this moment. <laughs> I have to admit. Better the devil you know than the devil you don't. So, Ninja, let me ask you this, dude. Like, I mean, what with throwing knives, I mean, if obviously everything's not going to be in a perfect setting. If you got some evildoer lurking, coming up on you in the bushes, or coming up out of you out of nowhere, what's your thoughts on that? Fuck the, like the movie Karate Kid says, uh, like Miyagi says, uh, the best defense is to not be there. So that's first of all. First and foremost, try to avoid it out of nowhere. You got to be ready. So, you so what's to, in your hands right there? I got a pair of scissors. You got to be able to pick up anything. You either fucking know how to fight, but you know, some men are more than men. And you got to be able to, you might have to fight some eight foot tall motherfucker like Shaq one day, but who's going to do that? I'd rather fucking run, to be honest. Have you ever had to stab anybody before? My older bully ass brother. Dickhead <laughs> you stabbed him? Oh, many times. I knew my limit though. I knew till 
only poke him at least that deep. Wait, like, does that know. mean that you just stabbed him or you threw the or did you throw it at him? Well, everybody has their 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 breaking point. If I can push my buttons like a motherfucker. He kind of made me into the ninja. <laughs> I, was too, <laughs> I was too little right? to fight back, so I, I needed to get a weapon. I had to run and get a stick, a broom, a knife from the kitchen, anything, a shoe, spit in his eyes, whatever the fuck. So there you have it. I guess the, uh, I guess the lesson behind this is if you're a little dude, you better learn some ninja skills quick. Look how close you got to me, fucker. What are you doing? <laughs> Dude, look how close you got to me, man. <laughs> Holy shit, that was so close to my huevos from Cheros. I'm flattered and I appreciate the trust. Wow. Wow, that was good. And that was a solid hit, guys. Hey, everybody needs to live next door to a ninja. <laughs> so there you have it. Had a good day off. Chilled out with the neighbor. Ran around a little bit. Even Biscuit's tired. Noodle too. She's hiding. But today I got to learn a little bit about throwing uh, all kinds of shit. And I almost got my hand taken off. And my noggin. But uh, I think it was a cool day overall. I'm going to go back to Ninjas every now and then and see what he's up to. I know he's into archery, into rock climbing, all kinds of cool shit. So maybe we can learn some more stuff together. It'd be pretty cool. But anyhow, I had a good day. Um, just wanted to share that with you and maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe you guys want to get into knife throwing, you know, but, uh, always be safe, always be careful and, uh, I don't know, maybe start with pencils or something like that.